everyone. Come on in. Teachable moments of my life. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Come on in, come on in. First, let me apologize for all of the time changes. I had a very important phone call that I needed to take that ran a little bit long. So I am going to let you all know if there are any married women under 35 who would like to have traditional wife coaching from Maggie, there may be an opportunity to participate in a project. And that's all I will say. So if you are interested, please inbox me either on Instagram or Facebook, uh, or you can email me at Maggie the Substitute Teacher dot no <laughs> Maggie the Substitute Teacher at gmail.com. So again, if you are married and you would like traditional wife coaching from me, there is an opportunity for a project. That is the phone call that I just got off of. So I am very excited, but let's go ahead and get started with the meals. <sighs> for anyone who doesn't know me, hi, I am Maggie. Please allow me to introduce myself to you as your substitute teacher. And I am your substitute teacher because I cook sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free recipes. We're, we're still on our vegetable train. We've got some butternut squash that I'm going to try and recreate a sweet potato recipe on. Will it work? I don't know. We're going to try it together. And uh, Christina's here. She's given me a, an asparagus recipe. We're going to see if we can do both. So uh, please come on in. We are going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present in this struggle cooking class, uh, shout yourself out. If you prefer to watch from the clouds, you are most welcome here. We are always the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, right? So we're going to clean off the counters. I'm going to wash my hands, and then we will take attendance, and then we're going to get started. I'm going to take my time, and we're just going to have a good time tonight, y'all. I'm excited. I am so excited. <sighs> Hope you all are doing well. Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for being here coming into the kitchen with me. I am not a professional chef. Mm -mm. I mess up all the time and I'm not a professional content creator. I do work. I work from home and technology, but I do love recreating recipes with you all and sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey that we're all on, right? <laughs> all right. So let me clean my hands and then we will take attendance. All right, so let's start over here on TikTok. Let's let this air dry for just a second. Who do we have over here on TikTok? My goodness, we have OG, we have User, we have Two Slay, Bamski, Terrell, Bernie, Dawn, Shirley, Kelsey, Lady D, Cheryl, Jimmy, Sasha, Ken, Kim, Joe, Marino, User, <laughs> Jeanette, Goose, Deborah. Um, William and Jima. If I missed you guys on TikTok, I am so sorry. Uh, who all do we have watching on Instagram? Let's see if I can scroll up to the top. We got Teachable Moments. We have Richard. We have Triologist. We have Sheezer. G J G. We have Mason. Okay. Those of you all on Instagram and on TikTok. If you would like the full view, you can come to MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. Yes, good evening. All right. Who all do we have over here? Who wants to be counted present? We got Michael Wendy. Hello, my dear. We got Christina Gustave. Shout out to New Hampshire. Uh, shout out to New England. We're going to try and do one of our one of her recipes today because it's got a little marinate step that I'm hoping we can get started with. We got L Lisa White. She says, happy Thursday evening. Thank you for the hearts. Happy Thursday evening. 
Happy Friday Eve. Hope you all are ready for the weekend. Hello, Chocolate. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. We got Tasha Arnett coming in. Hello, my dear. So good to see you. She's dancing already and blowing me kisses. Thank you so much. And we have Linda. Linda says, good evening. Linda Barrett is in the house. Hello, my dear. Thank you so much for being here, sweetheart. We have uh, Q Soup. Thank you so much for being here. Kimberly, is it Valles? Is it, it Valles? Um, I want to make sure I pronounce your name correctly, but my first time seeing you here. Hello and welcome, my dear. Thank you for watching. All right, y'all. So I saw a recipe because I think it was Nate who asked for me to reproduce the Hasselback potato that we had when we went out to uh, the consulate, which is the potato with the little, little slivers in it, nice and crispy. So on my sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free diet, I usually don't eat potato. Um, so I always like to come up with substitutes for y'all. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. But we have another submission from none other than Christina for prosciutto wrapped asparagus all right so tag your vegetable terrian friends send them over here we're making vegetables tonight all right so christina says the asparagus needs to marinate so i want to go ahead and get that marinating and then we're going to move over to the sweet potato substitute and um then we can come back over to the asparagus. So that's what I'm thinking about in my mind. Mona, I was just thinking about you. Hello, my dear. And again, I have been approached by a company who is interested in a project for me to teach women under 35 who are married how to be traditional wives. If you are interested, please inbox me and let me know. All right, so we've got some fresh asparagus here. I'm going to rinse these off. I picked these up at Whole Foods. Oh, I'm not showing y'all. <laughs> I'm going to uh, rinse these off and we're gonna pop off the tips. And Christina says that these need to marinate in a balsamic glaze. Yes, inbox me, Mona, if you're interested. Christina's here for it. All right, so let me get my uniform on. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. Good things are happening. So much good stuff in the pipeline. So if you know someone or you are someone, a woman who's married, who wants me to teach them how to be a traditional wife, let me know. Time is of the essence. I think a decision is being made on Monday. All right. Let me get my uniform. We'll just go with this one. I've got to get my, um, my matching uniforms, one for every color in the rainbow, right? So we can uh, look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so we got our Maggie apron. We're ready to get started. Okay, so for our asparagus, I'm just going to take the rubber bands off. And I'm gonna pop the tips off and just put them in the bag and then we will rinse them. So let me get a colander. I don't know how many asparagus you usually use. I think Christina, you said you do two packs. So maybe we'll count these, um, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap as many as we can. Let me get a strainer. All right. All right, so asparagus are beautiful vegetables kind of a more sophisticated a little bit elegant vegetable if you ask me hello oregon and hello sharon um i think these go well with a steak or they just make any plate look kind of sophisticated right so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop off the uh tips at the bottom maybe you eat them maybe you don't and we're just going to toss them in the bag here and then i'll rinse off this part all right so just reuse the bag for a little trash. This is something you could bring the kiddos in the kitchen with you to help out with. Hello, Tony. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening, Candle on uh, TikTok. Oh, let's do it the other way. I'm right-handed, so let's do it this way. Make it easy for yourself. Christina says, yes, it's why you can tear the prosciutto so you have enough to wrap. 
greedy. So if we have extra asparagus, we have extra asparagus just uh, marinated. Linda says, great opportunity. Congrats. Thank you. I'm excited, y'all. Yeah. Someone reached out to me. So we will see. Good things are coming. So I'm glad you all are part of the community. Buckle up, Buttercup. We're going to have a wild ride or a fun ride. Hello, Bovell. Thank you. So if it's not y'all, if you know uh, a young married woman that is um, interested in uh, learning from me, I would love to participate. So we're just going to snap off these tips here. I don't know, y'all. I just always do this. Are they edible? They're probably edible these little pieces of stalk, but there's just a little joint at the bottom of all asparagus. Literally, it just snaps off clean. And um, it's nice you have this beautiful exposed part. You can get all the marinade up in there. We will rinse them and then we're going to marinate them. Um, Mona, they can contact me. Yeah, they can email me, Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com. Or inbox me on IG or Facebook. Y'all, I'm not really good with email, but that's probably the best way. So yeah, since you're <laughs> asking me, let's go with email. Email Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com. If you're a married woman under 35 who is interested in traditional wife teaching from Maggie, the substitute teacher. Ah, yes. And Mona says vote for Maggie. I think they're doing another cut tonight, y'all. I'm in the top 10. I think they're going to go down to the top five. So if you all are interested in supporting, y'all have kept me at first place. It is free to vote. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm in a competition. <gasps> is that Kappa Cinco? Clifford, how's the baby? Oh, how is CJ? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, I just had an outburst. Clifford Owusu, I'm telling you, growing up in an African home, I didn't think anybody understood until I found his channel. <laughs> he does all of these skits about African parents. Y'all know Nana. You already know. My mom is always giving me the business. And he's watching on IG. Thank you so much for being here. Well, and give your beautiful bride... Oh, my best. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, focus, Maggie. Thank you all so much. Oh, the contest, Lord. I'm in a competition called Favorite Chef. You can vote for me for free. Link is in the description. And I'm also going to put the QR code up here. If I can remember how to do it, I just got so excited. Uh, but yes, the winner gets $25,000 which I'm gonna to use to build a studio kitchen. The winner also gets a two page magazine spread and you know, lots of publicity. I'm learning a lot of these workshops behind the scenes. There you go, so y'all can see. So uh, you can vote for free once per day. I appreciate the support. I think they're gonna go down to the top five tonight. You all have been incredibly supportive and I can see those of you all that have been voting and donating. If you don't, uh, know what this is, you can scan that QR code and you can vote and enter in the chat that you've cast your vote for today. Christina's going to vote again. Sabrina says, hi, Maggie. Hello, scholars. Oh, you like this? This is a little Old Navy dress. Um, I'll show you later, but uh, thank you. Y'all know Old Navy, 50% uh, off. So, but thank you for the compliment, sweetheart. We got all about the Max here. She says, hello, Maggie, moderators and class. All right, class. So we have our asparagus here. How many? I don't know, a lot. We are going to rinse these off. And um, Christina says they need to be marinated in a balsamic glaze, okay? Hello, John Murray. So let's rinse this off. All right. So I'm just going to set them here. And then I have a container trying to be prepared, y'all. I think I got this at the dollar store. I just wanted to get something long enough that would fit the asparagus. You could do a sheet or a bowl or whatever. So I'm just going to put the asparagus in here. And then I'm going to put the glaze on them and just close it up, right? Right, Christina? Ah, oh, all about the max is voted. Thank you for the support. I love it. I appreciate it so much. Y'all are so good to me. 
Oh, wonderful. All right, so we have our asparagus um, clipped off and rinsed off. You all can see here. Thank you so much. And Christina says balsamic glaze, right? So I have balsamic vinaigrette, but I believe this is what you mean, you mean right, Christina? So I'll wait for you to confirm balsamic glaze. Y'all have seen me use this before. It's got a little sweetness to it, a little bit of that salty acid to it. So we're going to put all this on here and just let it sit. So I'm going to wait for Christina. Ah, she said exactly. <laughs> all right. Y'all know I'm greedy. So we're going to go all in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top on it. It looks beautiful just like that. I'm gonna put the top on it and I'm gonna toss it around. <laughs> she says, yes, okay. So let's put the toss on the top on this and just, we wanna try and get that glaze on there. She says they need to marinate for at least 30 minutes. You could probably use tongs too. So let's see if we got them marinated enough. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right, let me know if this is good or if I need more. So that balsamic glaze is gonna sit on here and just let them, mm, let them sop up that goodness, okay? So Christina says that's good. I'm just gonna sip this off to the side while we're doing our other things. And now I'm gonna show you all the recipe. Let me just clean the counters one more time just in case I got some glaze on here. I'll move it behind me and just let it kind of sit. Lisa's voted, checking in with her vote. Thank you. All right, so we'll just leave that there and uh, clean off. I love my kitchen, but the counter, sometimes it's hard to see. Christina says, OMG, was that a good OMG? Hello, 13th Empress. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. All right, hopefully that amount was good. I was a little liberal with it because y'all know we are team greedy. Now that balsamic glaze does, does, has, does have some sugar, so it's not gonna be a sugar-free recipe, but uh, Christina sent this over and uh, I think you all will like it. I'm already excited. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the accordion sweet potatoes but they're not sweet potatoes. I got a squash substitute. So we're gonna try and see how they come out, okay? Let me clean my hands again. Okay, so, okay, so Christina says yes. So our asparagus is over here, marinating, percolating, at least 30 minutes. Y'all, I used to always talk to the robots and say, set a timer. And then I was watching another cooking show, Miss Strong, and she set her timer and then my robot started talking. So I am so sorry if I have been setting off your devices at home. <laughs> Hello, C. Uh, <laughs> thank you for being here. All right. So let me show y'all what we're making today. All right. So this recipe came across my feed. Y'all know I'm always uh, watching these um, social media recipes. And this is from, I always like to give you all the recipe credit and I linked it in the description, okay? Thriving on plants, okay? Accordion sweet potatoes, thriving on plants. So let's take a look and y'all tell me what you think. So it looks like we are going to peel the potatoes, make flat sheets, put them between chopsticks and cut them and bake them. All right, so let me show y'all over here so y'all can see what we're making. So this is my attempt at the Hasselback um, potato. So you make the cuts uh, very thin, but you don't cut all the way through to slice it down. You want it to kind of do that stretchy thing kind of like that's why they call them accordion so she has accordion sweet potatoes and i'll show you all just for kicks 
she also has this for regular potatoes okay so you can go to her page we're not doing regular potatoes but look she has the same thing if you want if you like hash browns or something like that that extra surface area gives you that crispiness for all that flavor to get in those nooks and crannies then we're going to air fry them but we're going to do the sweet potato version okay so y'all can let me know what you think so far and i'm gonna leave this over here in the corner <laughs> once i find it <laughs> oh dear you know after a while okay here it is all these food recipes look alike all right so let's put this over here because i know we have people coming in all right so now the substitutions begin Hello, uh, Jay Bo. Thank you for being here. Okay. So if you can eat sweet potato, please have some for me. I love sweet potato with um, butter and brown sugar. <laughs> but y'all, I got to get the rest of this weight off. I know. Believe me. They tell me in the comments. Okay. So we are going to do a lower carb version. Hello, Tania. She says, my favorite teacher that you actually pay attention to. Hello, Rick from Michigan. Hello. Thank you all so much for being here. Hello, Cynthia. I appreciate you all on TikTok. Okay. So if you can have sweet potato, have some for me. But I'm your substitute teacher, so we're going to be doing a substitute. And what are we substituting? Butternut squash. Okay. So I picked this up at Whole Foods. And this butternut squash, I love. It's already been peeled. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> it's already been peeled, y'all can see here. So the butternut squash, you've seen it in the uh, store, especially in the fall, it's kind of like that pear-shaped orange squash. Um, this has a really nice creamy texture. You can make soups out of it. I love making like um, little cubes, almost like tater tots or like sweet potato fries. So whenever I want the sweet potato experience, my substitute is butternut squash. All right. So I'm going to save the peeling and we're going to get straight to the chopping because in all seriousness, butternut squash, I've done it before where you have a whole one and peel it. It is uh, a very tough outer skin and it can be a little bit dangerous just because of the shape. So uh, I found this at Whole Foods, so I'm very excited, okay? So let's get the cutting board and then we're going to try and make not a whole tray of these. We are going to make maybe like two or three and see if we can make this recipe. All right, y'all? So let's get the cutting board. Give our asparagus a little shake. Shake, 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 da dun, da dun, da. Shake, 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 da dun, da dun. Shake asparagus, da dun, da dun. Shake asparagus, da dun, da dun. Okay, I know you didn't ask for that, but you got it anyway. Okay, I have musical outbursts. Just allow me; it'll be over soon. <laughs> All right, so we got our beautiful greased-up cutting board. Hopefully, everyone can see. Let's get a nice knife. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to peel, well not peel, it's already peeled. We're gonna open our butternut squash. Very excited. Okay, organic, if that's important to you. Christina says yummy. Y'all are here for it. Y'all are liking this uh, accordion sweet potatoes. Let me turn this down a little bit so you all can see what we're making. Oh, hello everyone, Mr. Will, hello brown eyes. Okay. So you can see the texture. This is our squash texture. This middle part is full of seeds. So think of like a cantaloupe. All about the Max is dancing with me. Hello, KD. Hello, Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so on the butternut squash, you know, there's like the stem up here and then there's the bottom that's a bowl. This is full of seeds, kind of like pumpkin or cantaloupe. So that's been scooped out. That's why it's this shape, okay? So what I'm going to do is, because we want to try and replicate this rectangle shape. I'm going to cut it off here. I will save this part maybe for another recipe, maybe just roast like um, one of the things I love to do. Hold on, let me focus. It's a tough, um, 
it's a tough vegetable so you want to be careful when you're cutting it i'm just going to put this in a ziploc bag and put it away what i like to do with butternut squash this makes a great like um sweet or savory air fried like french fry you could do little strips Oil them well and then season them if you want them sweet, like cinnamon and brown sugar or sugar-free sugar. Or you could do savory uh, or you could, you know, make a soup or whatever with it. I'm going to work with this part of the squash and we'll save this part for another day. All right. So let me just go ahead and get it out of our way. Put this in the fridge and we'll come back to this or I'll figure out something else with it. All right, so hello Geneva. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. All right, so you can see in her recipe, I don't know, let's see, in her recipe, she does four sweet potatoes. I'm not doing all that. So I think we'll do, I'm looking at it. I should do, and I should cut, all right, let me see something here. I'm going to try, because I want to make them flat. Okay, so you notice how, ooh, beautiful. Look at that beautiful color on the inside. Y'all can see that? Hello, Kia G. Thank you so much for being here. You know what? Maybe I'll just use, yeah, I think I'll just use this, the flat piece. All right. So let's do three pieces. I don't need a whole, I don't need a whole pan. It's just for me, just for me. So I'm going to put this away, get this, um, in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't um, like start to dry out as well. All right. Oh, I got a song in my bosom now. Where are you? Uh-oh, am I out of Ziploc bags? Oh, there they are. Way in the back. So if you see a recipe that has like a whole like family size and you're just trying it, don't be afraid to like half the recipe or even quarter the recipe. You don't have to make all that. That's the problem. Can't get this weight off because I keep eating more than I need to. So we can give this recipe a try with just the pieces that we have here. And I'm using the air fryer. So I'll need to heat up that whole oven. All right. So we got our butternut squash here. Um, all right, so now for the technique. In order to get these potatoes in the accordion format, the way that she does, we need chopsticks. I got chopsticks. All right, so I've never done this before. We're going to try and cut them properly. All right, so what we do for either the Hasselback potato or the accordion style that we're gonna do. Hello, Jukes, hello, Dre Day. All right, so you get two chopsticks and you're going to place them next to your butternut squash or your sweet potato. Why? As a cutting guard, because if I cut all the way down, you can tell it'll cut clean. And we want that pull apart accordion stretchy texture, right? All right, so what we're going to do is, what does it say? <laughs> Um, preheat your oven. Y'all know I'm not doing that. Peel the potatoes. The squash was already peeled. Slice off the top and the bottom, followed by the side to create flat edges. So if you have potato, you want to make sure that it's flat, just like the squash is. Slice down lengthways to create three to four even pieces. We got three pieces. Make sure you save the cutoffs to roast or cook later so you don't waste any. Okay, got it. Place between a pair of wooden chopsticks and slice vertically. All right, so let's do that. Yeah, I'm nervous. All right, let me move these pieces out of the way. I'm holding the chopsticks together here and I'm just going to cut. And when I get down to the uh, chopstick, I'm gonna stop. Y'all know I'm not the best knife 
uh, what's it called? I don't have great knife skills, but I'm just cutting down to the chopsticks. Hopefully y'all can see, I don't want to lift it up, <laughs> but y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me focus. Just want to make little slivers down to the chopstick makes me stop. I wish the chopsticks wouldn't move. Let's see. I don't know, maybe like a quarter of an inch thick. Y'all can see what we're doing here. And this gives you more surface area when we brush it with the oil and the seasonings. It's going to allow that to seep into those nooks and crannies and get that flavor in there. Got that flavor for your ears. <laughs> okay, so y'all can see on the first side what we did. We got those little slivers. Didn't go all the way. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of hard to see, but it didn't go all the way. So you all can see on TikTok. Hello, TV. Hello, uh, Ira. All right, so it says... Place between the chopsticks and slice vertically. Flip, then slice diagonally. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna slice it diagonally so we can hopefully get this accordion thing going on. All right, so now I'm going to whew, try. Squash is like the texture of a pumpkin. It's um, It cooks up nice and soft with heat and oil, but on its own, it's uh, I'm cutting and it's fighting back, but I will not be defeated. So just going diagonally. So this is time consuming, but the presentation is beautiful. You know, if you're just making this one dish, and you have time to peel and slice like this. And I'm only doing three. So imagine if you had a whole tray, but I don't know if Nate is here. Oh, <laughs> Lisa's having nice anxiety. That's why I'm looking down and I'm focusing y'all. I'll keep my fingers up if that makes you feel better. I'm just making the indention and then pressing down into the chopsticks. And then I just press down to lift the knife up out of the way. Almost done with this one. Safety first. That's why sometimes I stop talking when I need to do something serious because, you know, we have fun here, but kitchen safety is important. Okay. Whew. I got it, y'all. Look, we got our accordion. Our accordion squash. Hello, Deuce. Hello, Wiser. Hello, uh, Uganda. All right, so you all can see here, we've got straight lines on the back and slanted lines on the side. <laughs> I know. Don't play with the food, Maggie. Okay. Whew. One down, two more to go. How am I doing, Lisa? All right, y'all. So again, chopsticks, flat piece of potato, or for me, butternut squash. We're gonna try and do a low carb version of this accordion sweet potato, all right? Put the chopsticks on the side to keep you from cutting all the way down. And then we're gonna cut straight here and then turn it over and do diagonal. I should give you all some music. It's a little bit better once I've done it. It's just holding the sweet potato and holding the chopsticks at the same time. And I promise I'm being safe. And once I get closer towards my hand, you'll see me just kind of line it up and then press that way, get my fingers out of the way, line it up and press. 
Mom had us in the kitchen chopping vegetables when we were little. There are knives that are safe for kids. I taught the kids how to cut with their fingers out of the way. Accidents happen, but we want to try to prevent them. Okay. Oh, let's get this out of here. So number two, we have the lines in there. Lisa's giving me the hand claps. One of you is here. Thank you so much. Thank you all for liking the live stream. Okay. So it says vertical going this way so you all can see on IG and TikTok. Hello, Pete. Hello, British. All right, so we have the lines here. Now we're gonna turn it over and on this side, it's diagonal, all right? So straight on one side, diagonal on the other side so we can make our accordion pieces. And I'm only doing three. I'm not doing a whole tray of 12, we're not doing that. All right, so let's go diagonal. Yeah. Let's go this way. And again, just keeping the chopsticks there. Pull those fingers back. It's not an all the way clean cut. It's just um, whew, like a, um, almost like you're scoring. Let's get the fingers out of the way now that we're getting towards the end. Just line it up and then press down, pull it out. And one more. Okay. So we got the second one, y'all. We got diagonal on this side. Oh, Michael, she says, great job. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. So we have number two accordion. Y'all can see here. All right. So straight lines on this side, diagonal lines on that side. So we have two sweet potato squash. <laughs> one more. Okay. Last one. Only because I would have done one, but only because, you know, I want to do these in the air fryer and make a little plate. That's another trick, y'all. Um, get close on your pictures and get like a small plate to make it look like a lot. <laughs> okay. That's also a good trick for portion control. Hello, Gino. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So we got one more and then we're done with the knife. So we need to go straight and then we're gonna turn it over, all right? So we're gonna make our lines. And again, for those of you all who just jumped in, I had a call that ran late today. That's why I had all the time changes, but I have been approached for a project if there are any married women under 35 who want to get traditional wife coaching from Maggie, please email Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com. And the sooner, the better. All right, let's keep our fingers out of the way, getting down towards the end. Whew, all right. Nice little slivers. We're going straight. All right. So we have our straight lines all the way across. Last time, we're gonna turn this over and do diagonal. Remember, this is the last little piece of the squash. So I'm doing this as a sweet potato substitute, okay? This has been a squash week with the zucchini and all of that, right? All right, so now diagonal. Chopstick so that we don't go all the way down. The hardest part, y'all, is holding the chopsticks and holding, like pinching this together and cutting. So if there was a contraption to keep it together, then 
That's why I got to keep my hand on it the way that I do. But we're almost done. Diagonal lines. Whew. All right, down towards the end. Let's get our fingers out of the way. Little slivers, lift up, sliver. Okay. I think we're done with the knife. We have our, I do like how it moves, y'all. <laughs> so we have our straight lines here and we have our diagonal lines here. All right, y'all. So we have our three sweet potato um, butternut squash potato pieces. Hello, Z Simmons. Hello, Jamie. Okay. Now, whew. Okay, repeat with all potato slices and place them onto a lined baking tray. So I'm going to be using the uh, air fryer. Let's move the knife out of the way. So I'm going to use my air fryer uh, parchment paper. Our asparagus is still back here marinating. marinating. I'll give it another little shake. All right, so air fryer sheet. Now, I'll go ahead and turn this on now. Okay. So this is my air fryer tray. I have these air fryer liner trays, just got these from Walmart. They're made from parchment paper and parchment paper has been treated with silicone so that it doesn't stick, all right? So we are going to put these on here and you know, my little hack for keeping it from bubbling up. I've got a little olive oil. This is gonna go in the marinade anyway, so I'm just gonna put a little bit, like a drop on there, then brush it on. It acts like a glue. Kimberly says, looks good. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So putting a little bit of oil, this could be spray oil, it could be any oil, and I'm just gonna brush it on here. It acts like a glue so your parchment paper doesn't bubble up on you, especially if you use the parchment paper that's on the roll, um, you know, that can kind of curl up on itself. All right, so now we'll save the brush because we're going to brush our potatoes. So you can see how we get that to lay flat. So a little parchment paper hack so it doesn't come off, okay? So it says... Um, place them onto a lined baking tray. All right, so we have our potatoes. I'm only doing three. We have our accordion potatoes. Okay, so now we're gonna make our marinade, not marinade, seasonings. All right, so I will sit this here. All right, so now in a small bowl, we're gonna mix our seasoning. So let's get my little gravy bowl. And I'm going to adjust the amounts because I'm only doing three. Uh, Christina says, good job, Maggie. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. So does she give me amounts? Yeah. So this recipe, y'all can see, is for, um, she says it takes way too long, four sweet potatoes, two tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then you can see the seasonings there. I may still use all the seasonings because y'all know we like it seasoned well. So preheat the oven. I just did that. And fan forced, you can see fan forced is kind of like the convection setting. So you want that fan to give you that crispiness. Ah, Beverly says, sorry, I'm late. What are you making? Accordion sweet potatoes. This is my attempt at the Hasselback potato, but I'm using butternut squash. Okay, so let's see here. Preheat the oven. Chop with the wood sticks, uh, chop with the chopsticks. Okay. So in number three, in a small bowl, mix together the oil, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, powder, oregano, and rosemary. So we're just gonna put it all in here. All right. So let's start with our oil. I'm just gonna half everything, a tablespoon. We'll see if this is good. It calls for two tablespoons. I'm going to do one tablespoon of olive oil. 
All right, you could probably use whatever oil works for you, but we're giving this a try. That's what the recipe says. Hello, Sonia. All right. So let's put in some olive oil. And then all the seasonings go in here. All right. And then we're going to brush it on. Generous amount of sea salt and freshly cracked, freshly cracked black pepper. Okay, sea salt and pepper. How much is generous? I don't know, however much you want. I don't really have to worry about salt, but I do have to worry about sugar. So I have some Hawaiian sea salt. This is like a big flaky salt. So we'll put this amount in. Maybe I'll taste it. There's nothing raw in here once we get all the seasonings in there. And I'm just using a quarter teaspoon because it calls for a half. I'm doing half of everything. And then the cracked black pepper. And the reason you like freshly cracked black pepper, you got the little peppercorns in here and when you crack them, the oils open up and you get that flavor. All right, so we've got salt and some pepper in there. We'll taste it and see if we need a little bit more. Paprika, oh, I got everything out, okay. So we got some paprika. That's gonna give us a nice little red color, a little golden color. Put that in there. Um, garlic powder. Y'all know we use this almost every time, so we've got the garlic powder. So let's put that in there. I'll just wipe this off so I don't get any paprika in my garlic powder. It's all going to mix in here. That's fine. All right. Garlic powder. Onion powder. We got that. Just wipe this off onion powder oregano I don't actually I do have oregano I have the oregano from Greece so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Greek oregano it's not in a uh, what's it called shaker thing but this came from the spice market like one of those oh, oh my gosh if y'all could smell it one of those old spice uh, markets when I did the culinary walk where they sell the saffron and oh, so good. So we have some oregano here. Um, and then dried rosemary. I don't think I have actual rosemary. So I'm using this Italian seasoning that has rosemary in it. I buy so many seasonings just for one recipe and I end up with all that. I'm gonna take one look just to see if I have rosemary. I don't think I do. But I'm just going to look. Cilantro. I think we'll be okay. Rosemary is great for, um, you know, like lamb or anything very savory. I just, we got enough, y'all. Okay. So we're going to do the Italian seasoning. I could probably do the Greek seasoning. Does that have rosemary in it? No. It has oregano in it. Okay. Focus, Maggie. All right. So we'll pretend this is rosemary. And get that in there. Let's stir it up and see what it looks like. And then I'll give it a little taste and then we'll brush it on there all right so hello uh leah beautiful name all right so you all can see here we got all those seasonings in there oh beverly says did i get the saffron in greece no and i wanted to y'all i was on a tour and they said oh we'll have time to come back and i didn't and i wanted that saffron i mean i anastasia's with us on saturday and sundays when i when i um stream early some of our european scholars are able to join and i'm really thinking about just having her mail me some i'll pay for the shipping but oh that spice market was beautiful okay so we've got it kind of mixed up in here i think it looks good i'm just going to give it a little taste it's just seasonings and oil a little more salt it's got good flavor though i almost want to put some of that greek seasoning in here i think i'll do that this um, sea salt, yeah. 
It's fine. It's just that the crystals are so big, so it doesn't really dissolve the way that I want it to. And we'll put in some of the Greek seasoning since we're talking about Greece and give it another little stir and taste. You can really do this however you wanted to. If you wanted to do the sweet version, we're doing savory. Hello, Diego. Um, if you wanted to do the sweet version, you could do cinnamon, oil, cinnamon. Let me use a different chopstick. Uh, oil, cinnamon, and uh, brown sugar or, you know, honey. So you can make this however you want. If you wanted to make like a sweet, sweet potato, you could do that. But we're doing the savory version. All right. Let's give this a taste. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. All right. I'm just looking at the instructions. All right. Brush the oil mixture over the potatoes to evenly coat each slice and then bake for 30 minutes. I don't think it's going to take 30 minutes. So let's get this up in here with our pastry brush. Give it a nice little mix. And let's get our accordion, butternut squash, sweet potatoes, and we're gonna brush this goodness all up on there. And we're gonna do the top and the sides. We're gonna turn it over. We wanna get it nice and coated. I don't know, does she turn hers over? So let's get it all up in there. We want that oil and those seasonings to seep into those nooks and crannies that we just cut. I'm going on the side. Getting up in there. You could do this with fish. It almost looks like a piece of salmon. All right. So this is what we have so far. You all can see. If you can't see, y'all can come on over to MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. I'm trying. I got multiple cameras here, y'all. Okay. Let me just read what she does. Yeah, it doesn't look like she flips it over, but I'm gonna flip it over and I wanna do both sides. I'm just looking really quick when she puts the seasoning on there, brush. I don't think she flips it over, but y'all know we're greedy. Maybe because it sops, it, it seeps through, but let's go ahead. Hopefully y'all can see. Let's go ahead and do all of it. Plus we got a little extra in here, might as well. All right, and then soup up the last little piece. All right, on the sides, on the bottom. All right, now I feel better. Okay. This one looks a little bit, there we go. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven, y'all, and then we will take a look at our asparagus. Now, it says preheat to 200 Celsius. What is 200 Celsius? I don't know. Alexa, what is 200 degrees Celsius? <laughs> one moment. Alexa, what is 200 degrees Celsius? Okay, 392, so I've got it on 400. All right, so we're gonna put these in the air fryer and it says 30 minutes, but it's not gonna take 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna wrap our asparagus. Christina's saying yum. <laughs> All right, let's put this in here. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, so I think we are good here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this surface. We haven't had any meat on it, just the seasonings. So we will bring the asparagus over and move on to vegetable number two. <laughs> Mostly Diego is saying, wow, hello. Hello, little Skittles. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you all able to see. Okay, so let me clean up our salt and seasonings. 
It's been 30 minutes. I didn't test it, but uh, I'm sure it's been 30 minutes for the asparagus because I'm slow. So let's give it another little shake. So this is just asparagus and marinated in balsamic glaze. All right, and we're going to wrap these up in prosciutto. Y'all, it smells so good. I would eat it just like that. Raw. All right, mom says clean as you go. So let me just rinse these off and put the seasonings away. Christina's recipe for prosciutto wrapped asparagus. So I picked up some prosciutto at Whole Foods. I don't usually eat prosciutto, but it is very seasoned like... Sometimes I hear stuff and I'm like, I'm home alone. Um, pork, but you could also do bacon. Um, beef bacon is what I usually use, but I told Christina I want to be authentic, so this is what we're trying. All right, so she's gonna walk me through wrapping these up. All right, so that's doing its thing. All right, so let's see what we have here prosciutto di San Daniele, real Italian prosciutto. Okay, so I guess this is smoked. I'm just looking, can I taste it? I probably can. It's already cooked, right? I don't know, I don't know. Bake at 400 until crispy. We got Whitney, she says, hey, Maggie and chat. Hello, my dear, hello, Randy K. Hello, OB, thank you so much for being here. Hello, Shamu, thank you so much for being here. So this would be great on your charcuterie board. Ooh, y'all, it looks so fancy. All right. So, oh, I see why you say you tear these into strips. Okay. You can see here they're kind of wide, very thin. Uh, pork has worms, be careful, y'all. I'm just reading. I feel like it's smoked kind of like smoked salmon, but yeah, you just serve it like salami. Okay, so let's take a look at one of these. Oh, kind of tore it by accident so y'all can see how thin it is. So we've only got about eight pieces. Now, Christina, what do you cook these on? Like an air fryer tray with... Um, also with parchment. Let's see if it's not smoked pork like bacon or neck bones. Spray a cookie sheet. Okay. So I'm using my air fryer sheet. Let's see if I wrap this in a little bit of foil and give this a little spray and then we'll wrap and put them on there. I do everything in the air fryer, y'all. I'm in the south, so if I don't have to turn on the oven, I don't want. I don't want to. Hello, Nate. Hello, TJ. Thank you all so much for being here. Okay, so we have some foil here, and I'm just gonna line my air fryer tray because obviously this has little uh, grate, and we don't want all that balsamic glaze to come out. All right. So I'm going to get some olive oil spray. We're going to spray this. We're going to wrap the asparagus and prosciutto and lay them here. Um, I think Christina says she cuts them in half or tears them in half. So a little bit goes a long way. And we'll give that a wrap and see what we get. All right, well, let me spray this before I forget. All right, 
So we have a little olive oil spray. Sorry, y'all, I tried to drink something too fast. <coughs> All right. That's what I get for being greedy. All right, so y'all can see. So let's get one of our asparagus pieces that's been marinated in balsamic. Hopefully y'all can see. <coughs> and to try and roll this up, I'm going to start at the bottom and kind of roll at an angle so we get a little prosciutto on every bit of the asparagus if we can. And then we'll lay this down there. <clears throat> All right. So a little messy, but this could be a fun date night meal or, you know, something that you assemble together. I'm just taking my time because the prosciutto is very, very thin. I'm laying it down, getting some asparagus and I'm starting at the bottom and I'm going to kind of, am I doing it right? So we have the balsamic glaze and we have the saltiness of the prosciutto. I don't know if you leave the tips out or if I should do extra. It looks like I'm going to have a lot more um, asparagus, but I'm not going to waste. These could probably stay in the marinade overnight and then like put them on the grill or something tomorrow. Hello, everyone. I'm doing it. Okay. Let's just go ahead and use all this up. I wish y'all were here to eat it. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so we'll use those little strips when we get to the end, but I'm just putting the big strips down. All right. I see y'all saying hello to each other. Hope everybody's ready for the weekend. Thank you all for the support and for voting. And again, my announcement, if you are a married woman under 35 or you know a married woman under 35 who is interested in traditional wife teaching from me, I was approached about a project. So you all can email me at Maggie the Substitute Teacher at gmail.com if you're interested in having me teach you. That could be interesting. All right. <clears throat> so spread the word. They said time is of the essence. They're making a decision, I believe, on Monday, and it is Thursday. So spread the word more to come. All right, I'm just going to keep going until I run out of prosciutto. I'm not really like a big uh, cured meat kind of person, but um, this has got that nice little um, edge of fat, which is going to make our asparagus nice and crispy. And just separating it, y'all. I mean, these sheets are so thin. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to roll them up, but we do want to have a nice piece of prosciutto, or it could be bacon, on each piece of asparagus that is marinated in balsamic glaze. So you're going to get that sweet and salty and then add the crispy on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I think I'm going to wrap the tips. We'll see. Hope everybody's doing well. If you have questions, I'm doing one of these uh, repeatable mundane tasks. You can ask a question. I can see it. I'm just not going to touch the screen while I'm doing this. Feel free to ask me your questions about whatever you think I can help you with. 
it's not a formal Q and A, but, uh, and then I'll also do the announcements while we're here. You all are voting for me for favorite chef and I appreciate that. Link is in the description. I am so grateful for your support. What else do we have going on? Um, oh, the Maggie meetup. If you all are interested in meeting me, we are having a meetup in November. It's a cruise, all are welcome. The link is in the description. You can reserve your room, $200 to hold your spot. And then you just pay the balance by September and we are cruising in November. So if you wanna get away from the cold weather, we're going to the Bahamas out uh, from Orlando. And um, it's a week. I only have one event planned. It'll be a meet and greet, Q and A in person, um, and like a group picture or whatnot. I'll be celebrating my birthday on the cruise, so I'll be bringing you all gifts. And uh, you can do as much as you like with me or nothing at all. Y'all know I'll be at a different restaurant every night. And yes, I will be streaming. So I'll be letting you guys know what we're up to. And um, several of y'all have said we should make this an annual event. So if it goes off well, which I know it will, we have a whole travel agent that's in the community that set up everything. We've got a block of rooms and I would love to meet y'all. Okay. So there's a part of me that feels like I got enough, but now I haven't, let's see, what would you do with these pieces? You know, I've touched them. So they've got that balsamic glaze on it. I can pack that up. You could probably put it on a cracker. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if we can do one more and just kind of make it work. And then we'll take a look at our um, sweet potatoes. This one's going to be <laughs> extra wrapped with all those pieces. Shout out to Team Greedy. Not as pretty, but let's just get this. And I'm sure you could marinate it in whatever you like, maybe like, um, I don't know, what else would go well with there, like a, um, a vinaigrette or something. I do like the sweet and salty that this is giving us. All right, I'm gonna taste that piece. I'm gonna taste it. Okay, let me clean my hands. So we've wrapped this up. I'll say hello to y'all. We'll check on our um, sweet potatoes and uh, give this prosciutto a taste. All right. So I will save the asparagus that we have here in the balsamic glaze. I'll just put this back in the fridge. Um, Hello, Delicious. Hello, Delgado. Hello, uh, The Only. So you could probably bake these, grill these, whatever you like. All right, so we've got a nice little very thin piece of prosciutto. We're going to give this a taste. Mmm. Salty. Ooh. Wow. The flavor really comes on the back end. It's not as forward and crispy as bacon but it's got that aged, it's nice y'all. So this is some real Italian prosciutto that I got from Whole Foods, okay? So I will save this part because I didn't touch that. <clears throat> and we'll just put that in a Ziploc bag. What else could you use it with? Um, pizza toppings, I guess whatever you like. Maybe wrap it in a, <laughs> Christina says add them on too. Christina said, use it all. I just don't want to take too much cooking time. And plus, it's just me. 
that's the problem, y'all. I cook more than I need, clearly. Got the problem. Oh, let's check on our uh, sweet potatoes. Hello, Cole, because I think we're supposed to turn them over, right? Bake for 30 minutes until this upside is golden. Living our life like it's golden. Uh-oh. And it's sliding down. Let's take a look. I think that's pretty golden. Y'all see? All right, it's hot, so we're gonna turn them over and I'm gonna put both of them in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks really good. All right, I'm gonna get some tongs and turn it over. Or maybe a spatula. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't mess this up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know if y'all can see this. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn them all over. But you can see. Oh, all right. So the recipe calls for sweet potato. We have butternut squash. I tore it, gosh darn it. All right, careful, Maggie. Let me get a small spatula. <clears throat> All right. It's very tender. Let's get up underneath there and turn the whole thing. Okay. So we're gonna put this back in and let this brown a little bit. And then I'll put the asparagus underneath. That's one of the things I like about my air fryer. I can cook multiple layers in there and then we'll clean up. So we want this to get nice and crispy on the back side. All right, y'all can see, kind of. All right, so let's put this in. I'm gonna put it up here. And then We'll do maybe like 10 more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put in our asparagus. Y'all can see our, <laughs> Christina says, put it all in there. Uh, Y'all can see our prosciutto wrapped asparagus here is going in. Prosciutto wrapped asparagus marinade. Oh, Parmesan, I forgot. Right before it's done, add some Parmesan. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this for now. I'm gonna put it down here. All right, 400, all right, it's doing its thing. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna clean up while this is cooking, and um, that's pretty much it. I don't know if y'all have any questions. We're gonna let this cook, uh, maybe 10 more minutes on the sweet potatoes. Um, if you have any questions about recipes, I'm also an etiquette student, and coming out with the finishing school for those of y'all who are interested in etiquette and elegance. Um, and I do have a relationship channel too. All right, so just cleaning up and looking good. Thank you, hello Mallory. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, hello, hello. Did I miss anybody? Y'all are excited, looking good? Okay, all right, so just going in the fridge. Christina says put Parmesan on there. Y'all know I am dairy free. So I'm going to be using, we've used it three days in a row, another Italian uh, ingredient. This is my Pecorino Romano. So this is my sheep's milk cheese. This gives us the Parmesan experience for that dry aged salty. And this will give us the crispiness too, but you can see this is made from sheep's milk. That's how I stay dairy free. Um, so when I say dairy free, that's cow dairy. Okay, clean it up. I don't know how long you cook those for. So we are going to um, give a few more minutes for that um, accordion sweet potato. We'll get a white plate that we, oh, we need to chop up some parsley to put on top of it. So we have that nice little garnish. All right, so let's, let me do that while we're here. 
don't use that. Don't use the tongs because it's really tender. It'll tear them. Wanna be? Yes, my relationship channel is The Wives Club. Um, we will be live again on the 21st, but I post every Friday. We have some old content unreleased, so you all can check that out. I've already got it ready to go for tomorrow if you're interested. And again, if you're a wife under 35 and you want to be taught by me traditional wife skills, um, I was approached about a project, so you all can email me if you're interested or if you know someone. All about the max. No problem. Y'all can watch me on uh, live or the replay it i'm just happy that you're here so you can watch without listening you can listen without watching thank you for stopping by hello steven hello uh burger team uh, yes on youtube the wives club mona if you would drop the channel please let me rinse this off yeah it's called the wives club and the logo is a purple circle with a um wedding ring all right, so we need a little bit of parsley to garnish. So I ordered, I bought this also at Whole Foods. I got a whole pack of Italian parsley. Shout out to the Italians uh, tonight. So I'm just going to grab a pinch because this is really just going to be a garnish. Of course, if you have the shaker one, you know, that'll work in a pinch, but the green color, oh, I don't even like parsley, like that grassy smell, but it just goes so well with savory things. All right, so we're going to give this a nice little rinse. Hello, thank you so much for coming here, Jordan and Dressing. Thank you all so much. Uh, you subscribe. Thank you, wannabe. Yep. All right, let's rinse, and we're going to give this a chop. All right. I don't like the stems. Our channel just got monetized, so we will have our monetization party on the 21st. So that's in a couple weeks. We've got a couple people traveling and doing um, summer stuff with family. And then we will get back to our regularly scheduled programming once a week. <clears throat> All right, so our herbs, I'm just pulling off the stems of the parsley. Of course, you can eat them, but I'm just using this for a little garnish. Just grab it together, kind of pinch it together if you can. And then we're just going to do a little chop. Keep your fingers out of the way. Use the knuckle as a guide. All right, then doesn't have to be perfect, but we just want to sprinkle this on. And then I'm going to go check on our sweet potato squash. Squash potato. Okay. All right, I think we're good. So I got that. All right, let's take a look. I think it looks good, y'all. I think I'm gonna take it out. Let me just get the parsley out. And then we're gonna get a plate. All right, so we have some fresh chopped parsley here. This is gonna garnish our squash potato. Hello, Neek, says Auntie Maggie. Hello, hello. Oh, Wannabe says the new YouTube is good. You have 316 subscribers. You need 500. Yes, let us know what your channel's about. I definitely want to support y'all. Y'all have been here to support me. Um, we just crossed over, I think, 1,400. It used to be 1,000, so you will get partial monetization at 500. Absolutely get all that you can. Um, we originally got the partial monetization, but I just got an email today that we now have the watch hours for full monetization. So thank you all for supporting the Wise channel. We will have our monetization party Friday the 21st. All right. So let us know what your channel is about. Anybody who's a YouTuber. Okay. Let me get a plate. So we are going to put our potatoes, potatoes on there. All right, 
right, we're done with the chopping. Move that. Move that. All right. So let's get our accordion potatoes. Oh, I think you want to be absolutely. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're nice and crispy on the edges. So actually a little bit dark, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna turn it over and see what side looks better. All right, Christine, I want you to take a look at this prosciutto. Is it time to put the cheese on now? I'm gonna move them up. You can see the prosciutto is um, starting to cook a little bit more on the asparagus. Keep cooking or um, Parmesan now, or you know what I mean. So I'll move this up while we get this done. Oh, thank you, Mona. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So I am going to move this over. Now hers are try and hide the fact that I broke it. Let me see if I can pull it up and do the Christina says longer, you got it. You're not monetized yet? Okay, your channel's about beauty, unboxing, makeup, eating, and working out. Okay. All right, you got a lot. So I'm going to be very careful, but you all can see if I try to pull it. Well, let me bring it up so y'all can see. I'm scared to really get in there before I take our picture, but you can see here, it's giving us that nice, it's hot. Hopefully y'all can see. Hello, hello. All right, let's move this over. I'm using the spatula so I don't destroy it. Okay. All right, I think with it, do you want to be that one at the house back? And then let's put a little bit of parsley on everything, on the plate too, a little garnish. All right, so now, we have our accordion squash potato. So I'm gonna take a picture. And then of course we're gonna taste it. I'm a little nervous, but this is what we were going for. And this is what we got. Let me move all of this. Hello, uh, CDB, hello Timmons. Thank you all so much for watching. Okay, looks amazing. You love the edges. Lisa is here for the crispy edges. I'm noticing a theme. Wasn't it you yesterday that wanted that crispy cheese on the tortilla pizza? I think so. All right, so let me get in here. I didn't do a whole tray. Oh yeah. Well, don't be afraid to get up on your food. Some with the flash, some without the flash. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and let's do our quick little video. All right, so tonight we did the Thriving on Plants. This is the accordion sweet potato, but we have substituted butternut squash for a lower carb option, brushed with olive oil. We have Italian seasoning. We have paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper and Italian seasoning with rosemary and or oregano. All right, let's get in there and enjoy. All right, y'all. So let me try one. Christina's saying OMG. <laughs> All right, now I will say, I think the sweet potato would probably have a little bit more structure to it. Uh, oh, hey, you want to hear watching over there? Hello, one of me. I think the sweet potato would have a little bit more structure to it, but y'all can definitely see if I kind of pull on it. Oh, we have that accordion effect, but I, we got our pictures now. So let me get a taste. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. It's nice and hot. 
right? I want to make sure y'all can see. Lisa says yes. <laughs> yes, you suggested it. Here we go. All right. So let's get in here. Take a piece of our. I should have a plate, y'all, but you know, we got to inspect it. We got our crispy edges. We got the juiciness on the inside. Let's see how well it's seasoned. Oh. Mm. I may do a little bit more black pepper. OMG. Where is my towel? Hold up. Hold on. All right, Christina, we need an asparagus check. I'm going in with a little bit more black pepper, y'all. It is so good. You can see Lisa's here for the crispiness on the outside. And then you've got that softness. <laughs> Another winner. Can y'all see the crispiness on the outside? But you see cutting it the way that we did, got all those nooks and crannies in there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to our Hasselback sweet potato, squash potato. Okay, this is not elegant. Y'all, I didn't think I was going to like it. It is so good. It's crispy. Where's my towel? Oh, hold up. I got it. Let's get our asparagus out. Let me know if we're ready for Parmesan. Oh my gosh. Are we, I think we're ready to sprinkle. Yes, those crispy outsides, y'all. Shout out to the vegetarians, except for the prosciutto. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, BT. Hello, D. <laughs> it's okay. We're having a good time, y'all. This is good. I probably would do a different salt, maybe a garlic salt, not a sea salt. Hello, Reggie. Hello, chocolate. All right, Christina, I'm going to call it. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some Parmesan. Yes, okay. But I'm using the sheep's milk cheese, okay, y'all? So let's put that on there. And then we'll get ready to plate our asparagus, and then we're done. So let me move them. going to move them together on the tray so we don't leave any Parmesan left behind. Oh, it's sticking. It's nice and caramelized. Get them together. Mm-hmm. You like it. Y'all know. Let me get it up close so you can see. <laughs> Y'all want to see everything. All right. So we're just doing a nice sprinkle of Parmesan on everything. And we're going to put this in there literally for just a, enough time to get a plate because we're ready. It's pretty much done. Just let it melt a little. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. All right, y'all. One moment. Don't mind if I do. Can y'all see that nice and juicy on the inside? And we got the crispy bits. The creaminess, I'm telling you, it's like a sweet potato. So Wannabe, this is the one that made me think of you. She also has a regular potato version, accordion potatoes, okay? So you can see. And she has a sweet potato version. All right, let's get a plate. Focus, I'm getting excited. So winner, winner, sweet potato dinner. Same thing. All right. We're going to get out our asparagus. And I know. 
I wish y'all were my neighbors too. I'd be like, come on over. Who's eating this stuff? Yes, wannabe says now. Exactly. Exactly. So if y'all missed it, when I went to the consulate, um, my dining companion had a Hasselback potato, which is a whole potato, and then they cut little slits into it so that that butter, and it just gives it such a great texture, y'all. Oh, it's so good. All right. Christina, are we good? It's sizzling. Or a little bit more. What do y'all say? I want to put some more cheese on it. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to take these out and plate them and taste one. And I don't think we need to put anything else on them. I think they're good. I don't think this plate, this plate is kind of overkill. Let me get a smaller plate. That's more of a platter. Oh, let's do. Oh, Christina says, I hope that means done. Yum. Okay. So let's get these plated. <laughs> um, I am scheduled to do the butterscotch cookies in a one-on-one -on -one cooking class. So those I will mail out. You're licking the screen. Definitely done. Okay. Thank you. All right, Mona's looking the screen. So let's get our prosciutto and I'm gonna put some more. Of course, we could have done a lot more. Oh, y'all with that balsamic on there. move this. So we have Christina with another recipe, your prosciutto wrapped balsamic glaze asparagus. Let's take a picture and a video. Hello, uh, Salmon. Hello, Fave Chef, uh, Beyond, Bionic, and KG. All right. Making sure y'all could see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's take a picture. And taste. And we're done. So excited. All right, y'all. Let me get the... Looks delicious. Lisa says yummy, yummy. All right, let's do a quick video and then I got to taste it. Christina's got her cookbook over here. I'm making everything. She sent me another recipe, y'all. Okay. All right, so tonight again, we made a recipe from our subscriber, Christina Gustave. You all know her and love her. This is asparagus marinated in balsamic glaze, wrapped in prosciutto, and then uh, topped with Pecorino Romano, or it could be Parmesan to keep it dairy free. So we have our Pecorino Romano. We also made the accordion butternut squash. Enjoy. All right, y'all. Well, let's give it a try. And no, I am not going to put it on a plate with a knife and a fork. I'm just going to get in there, get in there. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, y'all. But it's nice and tender. Y'all can see. Oh, mama! Oh! Mm. Y'all. Of course, you have the vegetable. You have the prosciutto. I want some more Parmesan, but the sweetness of the balsamic. Y'all, so greedy, hold up. 
I know. I know. It just gives it such a nice, <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. We got the double Maggie roll. <laughs> Two vegetable meals in one night. Shout out to the vegetarians. I'm picking the pieces that, y'all, this is addictive. This right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, focus. Yes, Christina, another winner. You need a cookbook. Mm. Mm. She said, let the asparagus marinate at least 30 minutes. I can see if you let this, like if I wrapped the other asparagus and cooked it tomorrow, you would have that flavor all the way down up in there. But y'all, it is so good. A little sweet, a little salty. Mm. All right, class. So now you have two vegetable options. You have your sweet potato accordions now that it's cooled down a little bit. You got your sweet potato accordion, accordion sweet potato or butternut squash if you want a low carb, if you're trying to avoid potato. So there's an option for you. There's your Hasselback. Um, and your prosciutto wrapped asparagus. I'm gonna have two more of these and then I gotta pack it away. Thank you all so much for being here. We're gonna go ahead and dismiss again. Sorry for the delays, but if you are or if you know, uh, a young married woman who wants traditional wife teaching from me, please email me, Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com. I have been approached about a project and I am very excited about it. All right. Thank you, Idis. Thank you, Simeon. Uh, Wanna be says, does YouTube send check or direct deposit? It's direct deposit. It's been a while since I've seen an actual check. My son got one for his first job, but when you qualify for monetization and um, you can learn all about this in my course, I'm not trying to, you know, promote it, but there's a free preview online. Uh, well, I mean, why not promote it? it? It's helped a lot of people, but it explains the process, but you will get an email inviting you to apply for the YouTube partner program. And part of the process is designating where you want them to send the money. So you'll need to have like a bank account set up that they can direct deposit. Christina says, you're tired. Good night. So happy I made it. I'm so happy I made it too. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in the course, there's a link in the description. You can preview it for free. Guide to YouTube monetization. I was monetized in four months and I put everything that I did in the course. All right. So we are going to dismiss tomorrow's Friday. So I'll do another cooking stream or something else. Probably should fast tomorrow. But um, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. I usually stream every day. So turn on your notifications so you'll never miss uh, another live. What are we making tomorrow? I don't know. When are we making it? Evening time, East Coast. And um, something will inspire me and we'll do this all over again. All right. So TikTok, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss. Thank you all so much for being here. I will see you all tomorrow for another struggle cooking class. Class is dismissed. Instagram, thank you all so much for being here. I will see you all tomorrow for another struggle class. Hello, Smaden, but class is dismissed. Hmm, baked chicken and rice. <laughs> no carbs for me. When the boys are here, I'll do a baked chicken and rice, but um, I gotta do something lighter. Uh, this was fun. Thank you so much, Kia G. So I appreciate that. Maybe a cauliflower rice, that might work. We'll figure out something. All right, everyone. Thank you, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Class is dismissed.